Hi, how are you? Uh, down here on my workbench, I wanted to show you a little project that I'm working on. And it stems from a video by Noptop, one of my favorite uh, DIY photographic uh, websites. Um, Noptop always comes up with some interesting ways to do things. And he has a recent video on how much better it is to use a microphone over your head rather than the microphone on a camera. And he showed how he did it. Um, it just so happens, I thought I had the materials to do that uh, very inexpensively. And I'm going to show you how I did it. Uh, this is a light stand made by Fancier. There's a rod that goes right through here that the umbrella is on. And uh, this rod, there's a little, uh, I can show it to your neck, there's a little knob here that you can use to adjust the uh, umbrella in or out, whatever you want to do. So, that gave me an idea. Why don't I just go to the hardware store and see if I could buy one of these rods. Uh, it's a quarter inch steel rod. And maybe with the other light stand that I have, I can make a boom to hold a microphone. So I found the right steel rod at uh, the hardware store. Works perfect. Uh, this one, at this point, I have the cable for the microphone already zip tied on here. But the problem was then, how do you get the microphone to mount on the end of this? Here's what I did. I bought a half inch PVC T. And then I bought a little brass fitting that has rough threads on the outside and quarter 20 threads in the middle. I screwed that into the T. You can see that. And then on the end cap, I screwed in a cold shoe mount so that I can mount the microphone right on this cold shoe. Uh, this goes together like this, and this assembly will go on that rod. So we just put this whole assembly on the rod like this, and screw down this thumb screw that I put on there, and that should hold the thing in place. Now it's just a matter of putting the microphone on there and trying it out. Okay, here you can see the microphone set up. The one change I had to make was I used a mini ball here so I could bend the mic down. Um, otherwise the mic would have been pointed up. Okay, I'm back. The cable that I tried to use for the first attempt at this uh, was made out of things that I had kind of cobbled together that I already had, and it didn't work. So I wound up buying this road extension cable. Uh, just tried it, it works fine. So what you're hearing right now is the audio just from the camera, and of course the furnace is running. So let's hear what it sounds like uh, with the mic. Okay, I've got the mic plugged in now. Uh, let's give this a little test, see how it sounds. I'll change the framing on the camera and get the uh, microphone out of the picture and try uh, that shot and see how it sounds and see how it looks. Okay, I believe that the microphone should be out of this shot and uh, here's a little test to see how it sounds. And the furnace just quit so it may sound even better. Okay, now the first part of this video and this part have been shot with my uh, Canon G7X. I think the sound is better with the G7X than the microphone or the other camera, which is uh, an EOS M. Maybe it's just me, but I think this camera sounds much better. Now, you may have noticed this string right here hanging in the video. This is to uh, hang myself with in case these videos turn out terrible. 